video. Welcome to December 2019. You find yourself looking at your future with strength and determination. That's because no matter what 2019 has thrown at you, you have thrived in the face of adversity. You will prevail no matter what. And now in December, it's time to think about what your heart desires. The sun is in your sister sign, Sagittarius. And that brings the action to true love, romance, creative self-expression, self-confidence, being outgoing, taking a risk, children. And here in December, it's about looking at what you can let go of, what no longer serves you anymore. If for some of you, you're feeling insecurity or uncertainty, it's time to let go of what's not serving you anymore. If you're feeling stuck, it's because you're believing you don't have any choices. So it's really important to look at what you're telling yourself here in December. And it is an awesome time for you because the sun is in Sagittarius and we have the moon in Gemini, the full moon in Gemini. And those are your love houses, the love you give to others, the love you receive from others. And so this is a very harmonious energy for you. Now Jupiter enters Capricorn on the 2nd. And that is about improving your health and improving your work, your work habits, your uh, daily routine, and doing something you love to do, doing something that is fun for you to do, having work that you enjoy. Now the sun will square Neptune on the 8th, so if you're feeling tired that day, you need to rest. Your avatar, your guardian angel is the sun. It's your ruling planet. And Neptune, when he touches the planets, he pulls the energy out, whatever he touches. And when it's the sun, it can make us very tired. So it's really important that you're not pushing yourself here in December. And that if you are tired on the 8th or you're feeling tired, that you take plenty of cat naps. <laughs> Lions sleep 20 hours a day. <laughs> so, not that you'll need 20 hours a day in December, but we are, you know, for those of us in the Northern Hemisphere, there isn't much light to work with, and it can be a time where we are to hibernate. And so, make sure you're uh, taking really good care of you and getting plenty of rest. Mercury enters Sagittarius on the 9th, so now you have the Sun and Mercury in this area of creative self-expression, true love, romance, risk-taking. And I am offering my new YouTube Insiders course starting in January. I have a free webinar coming up. If you've thought about being on YouTube, Leos do really well on YouTube. <laughs> and if you've thought about growing your business or trying a new uh, business and you want to use video, there's nothing better than video to grow any kind of business, whether it's a nonprofit or a cause or a for-profit business, YouTube can help you get there. And you do have the sun in this area and you do have, now have Mercury in this area of television or YouTube and podcasting and broadcasting. So it is something to think about. Now Venus will couple with Saturn on the 11th and you have the Gemini full moon on the 11th and 12th. Now this is an awesome moon. I love when we have the Gemini full moon because it's a party moon. It's a time to celebrate. It's a time to get together with friends and uh, family and uh, you know people we work with and celebrate. Celebrate. And for you, you have a lot to celebrate of what you've accomplished this year, all of the curveballs you've managed, the changes that you've gone through and the strength that you have now going into the new year. And this uh, full moon does have a T-square off of Neptune, but it's four degrees of separation. You know, the moon has already moved, you know, it's, it was exact on the 8th. And now here on the 11th and 12th, uh, it's, it's, it's got a good amount, it's got, you know, 
three or four degrees of separation, so it's, it's not dead on, but it is there. And it is about dreaming and visioning and using magic and using alchemy to manifest your heart's desire. It is time for you to think about that. Like, what is, what is it that I really want? Not only in December, but going into this new year and new decade. What is it that I want? What is my heart's desire? And think about that, you know, dream on that, vision that. And it's interesting because Venus is coupled with Saturn and Pluto at the time of the full moon. So it is about reaching out to others. So if you need to learn about something and you don't have the answer, others can help you get that answer. And it could be, you know, someone that you work with because Venus in Capricorn is with Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn and that's in the area of your work. Or if there's a health issue going on, it could be, you know, t time to reach out to an expert, someone that knows about um, this part of the body that you're working with. Or getting up, you know, a trainer. Maybe it's time to get a trainer. Uh, you know, or a massage therapist. One of the things I'm seeing that can really help you uh, this month is working out physically, like staying active. Staying focused on you and staying active because that really helps to shift the energy, like doing Pilates or yoga or weight training or whatever it is that you do. That helps to shift the energy and allows you to feel more free and you know, for some of you, if you're feeling stuck, it helps to move that energy so that you can, you know, feel stronger in your body. And then you're, hey, you know what? I do have choices. I'm not stuck. I'm always at choice. And I choose to move on or I choose to let go of what no longer serves me. And then you feel more liberated because that's who you really are. That's the truth of who you are. So Venus is here helping to smooth things over and remind you to... Uh, connect with others because their support and their advice could be invaluable to you. But this is a very creative time for you because the sun is in the area of creative self-expression and the moon is in the area of your friends and networking and the groups you belong to and your hopes and wishes and sudden luck, sudden opportunity, sudden breakthroughs. So this is a wonderful energy for you to be focused on your heart's desire and what is true for you. Maybe for some of you it's about telling a new story, you know, about your life or where you are or where you're going. The stories we tell are everything. Then the sun will enter Capricorn on the 21st. That's a power day because we have winter solstice in the northern hemisphere, summer solstice in the southern hemisphere, and the sun is your avatar, so you feel these shifts tremendously. And so this is very significant that we are now shifting into a whole new season. And it's another day for you to set your intention on what you want to manifest in the new season. And then we have Merry Christmas on the 25th, or Happy Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> Much love and joy to wherever you are on the planet. And we also have the solar eclipse on that day. So the Gemini full moon is on the 11th and the 12th, and the Capricorn solar eclipse is on the 25th and the 26th. Now, I really like this eclipse because the sun and the moon are coupled together with Jupiter. And they're forming our harmonious energy flow to Uranus. And so this can bring a once-in-a-lifetime energy to really improve your life, improve your health, improve your work. And Uranus wants to liberate you. Uranus, you know, is really asking for you to get into work that you love to do. It doesn't matter what it is, as long as it's an authentic expression of you. And that rhymes. <laughs> do and you. <laughs> do you. Who does you better? You do. Okay, so 
I really do like this Capricorn solar eclipse because it is about new beginnings. Now this is going to be the last eclipse you have in this area. I'll be back to do the Leo year ahead 2020 forecast and I will be putting yours out first. <laughs> and so uh, this is really exciting because the final eclipse in this area will be a lunar eclipse in uh, July and now the eclipses are going to be moving into Sagittarius and Gemini. Now that's about love. That's about creative self-expression. That is about you opening your heart and moving in new directions. So this eclipse is in positive energy flow with Uranus who has been waking up your outward contribution to society, your status, your reputation in the world, you know, your career achievement. And with Uranus, it, it doesn't matter what you do as long as it is an authentic expression of who you are, it's freedom and liberation in what you're doing. So it needs to be something that you're really passionate about, it's creative for you, it's dynamic, it's interesting, and it's taking you into new vistas. And that is the goal here. Now with Saturn and Pluto, the small elephant in the room, they're sitting right next to each other. So it's game on with Saturn and Pluto here in December. And Venus has moved off. Venus moved into Aquarius on the 20th, which is really good because it's in the area of love and relationships. And now Saturn and Pluto are sitting right next to each other and they go exact in two weeks from now at the Cancer lunar eclipse. And so this is about big changes for you. Now you've been working with these changes. My gosh, you've been working with Pluto in this area of your life since 2008. And you've been working with Saturn in this area of your life since winter solstice, December 20th, 2017. So it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm so surprised that I want to change my work or I want to change how I work or I want to change my lifestyle. Now it's like game on. You know what I mean? Like if you don't get on board and change with the way the universe is, you know, because this is destiny, then they're just like, well, we're going to push you in this new direction. And so it's much better if we're willing. <laughs> so know that you're not stuck. It's about looking in a new direction, trying something new, taking a risk, putting yourself out there in a new way. And when you do that, you're going to find that you get the reward. And what I love about the Jupiter in here is he does bring optimism and hope. And in harmony with Uranus, and that goes exact on the 10th, Jupiter and Uranus trining, and it's sitting right here in the Capricorn solar eclipse, that's about, you know, new opportunity, uh, sudden luck, sudden events that gives you a new chance at life, a new chance at a promotion, a new chance at a new business, having your own YouTube channel, <laughs> and new love. Because with Uranus in the area of status, you know, changing your status could mean going from single to married here in 2020. And so, you know, this is um, all about being constructive. And, you know, when we're in Capricorn, it's not Sagittarius. So it's not just like, oh, I thought it and then I created it. It's Earth. And it, it's about doing the work. It's about being practical. Now, Pluto's there, so it's about being passionate and being practical. <laughs> and when you do that, you get the reward. So, so Saturn rewards hard work and he rewards ambition and he rewards goals and priorities. And he is calling the shots because he is the ruler of Capricorn. And he's in his own sign. Pluto doesn't rule Capricorn, he rules Scorpio. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So we know that Saturn has the final word here in everything. Saturn is the one that brings you to what you want. We have to do the work. We have to take the risk. We have to take the chance. Now, the challenge is it can bring up fear. It can bring up insecurity. You know, what if I, you know, I, I freeze in front of the camera. What if I, you know, can't do this? You are Leos. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything. You're the strongest sign in the zodiac, one of the strongest signs. And it is about being determined and not letting the adversity hold you back or get in your way. It really is about 
looking at adver adversity as your teacher and saying, okay, what am I supposed to learn here? Oh, maybe I'm supposed to slow down. You know, don't drive so fast. Don't eat so fast. <laughs> it's a bad, I eat too fast. And you know what I mean? Like it's going to be unique for each one of you because you're all on your own life path destiny. And this goes out to many, many people. Yay. And so, you know, you have to think about it for yourself. What are these, these massive teachers teaching you about yourself? Now, you're going to have an opportunity to really reflect on this here in January because uh, it goes exact in January. And I'll be back to do January <laughs> after I do the Leo 2020. And I'm going to focus it only on 2020. And the reason is because there's so much happening. And we have six eclipses in 2020. And you are affected by every new moon and every full moon because you're ruled by the sun. And so we have six eclipses next year, which is an enormous amount of change, as well as Saturn and Pluto coming together. And that happens every 37 years. So this is a time where uh, we're all being asked to change. And, and so if you're open to change and you're doing the changes, you're going to find that things just open up for you in ways that you could have never even dreamed of because the universe will conspire to bring you your heart's desire. Does that rhyme? <laughs> desire, heart's desire, yeah. And so, so conspire and desire. <laughs> the universe will conspire to bring you what you desire. <laughs> but you got to do the work because we're in Capricorn. Now, another cool day for you is the 27th. That's when the sun couples with, uh, with Jupiter and Capricorn. The sun couples with the, uh, Jupiter once a year. So set your intention at these full moon, sol uh, solstice on the 21st, the Capricorn solar eclipse on the 25th and 26th and the 27th, even if you want to hold off till the 27th and do a ritual, you know, light your candles, talk to the angels, tell the Ascended Masters, tell God what it is you want in your life in, in December and January and, and the next decade. Because it's not only uh, New Year's Eve coming up here. I just want to say Mercury jumps into Capricorn on the 28th and then we have New Year's Eve on the 31st. And January 1st, we enter a new decade. That is so daunting when you think about it. Like, oh my goodness, we're not just entering a new year, we're entering a new decade. And with this massive astrology, this once in a lifetime energy that you're working with, this is really important. And so the focus is just, you know, so much in Capricorn and that has to do with, uh, you know, power and control. Now, one of the things that I'm telling everyone is, because this is what's coming to me very strongly, is spiritually for all of us, we need to surrender control. Now, I know that's a big one with Leos <laughs> because we've been bred to think that, you know, we're responsible for the kingdom and, oh my gosh, you know, if I, didn't, if I don't pray today, you know, something's going to happen in the Middle East or, you know, just whatever the inner dialogue can be. And the universe wants you to let that go because... Um, when we do that, it, it really is putting too much on your shoulders, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Give that back to God. Give whatever you've been carrying to higher power. Give it over to the angels because they can intercede on our behalf way better than what we humans can do. They have the power of all cosmos at their fingertips. And so whatever your burdens are, make sure to give it over to Source uh, here in December uh, at the Gemini full moon, at the solstice, at the solar eclipse, at New Year's, and set your intention for what you want to manifest in 2020 because you can make it happen. You can absolutely make it happen. Now, for those of you open for love, it's on. It's been on for you all year in 2019. And it continues here in December with the sun in Sagittarius, Mercury in Sagittarius, and the Gemini full moon, it is time to um, be available for love, be available for relationship. So email that person, call that person, connect, go out, and let whoever your heart is drawn to know that I like you <laughs> and see where it goes. For those of you coupled and in a relationship, this is a wonderful time for you to 
do a ritual together of what you want to manifest together, what you want to create together in this new energy, in this new year, in 2020. And support each other. You know, you can, you can just so be there for each other and help each other overcome whatever challenges. Because Saturn and Pluto is bringing challenges to every sign, no matter what it is. <laughs> we all have to deal with this, this uh, profound, powerful energy in our lives. Career looks good if you're open to change, if you're trying new things, if you're um, being open to even uh, changing up your routine, changing how you work or where you work from. Be open to change in this area so that the universe, because what if the universe has something better for you to do than you're even thinking about right now? It could be even better than you know. It requires you to let go. <laughs> I don't know why I'm rhyming so much with you today. <laughs> um, but it, it really is about you being open. And yes, the prosperity is there because Jupiter is in harmony with your money houses and your destiny in the world house. And so uh, this, is, this is prosperity and abundance. It does come from doing the work. Like I said, it's Capricorn. It's not Sagittarius, you know, where you can just visualize it and, you know, you pick the winning lotto numbers. This is, I put in the time, I did the hours, I'm working overtime, and I'm seeing the abundance. Money looks good, though, and it's very strong for you in here this month. For some of you, you could be getting, you know, a, a fabulous year-end bonus or uh, a promotion or... Uh, some sort of windfall that just drops in your lap and you're just like, thank you, universe. Your health. Now, the one area of challenge I do see for you is, you know, is to watch the stress levels, no pushing. If you find yourself like feeling stuck or um, even under the weather, yes, rest, but also the physical exercise helps tremendously with you now because it is in the area of your health and these are earth signs which is physical it's not a spiritual energy it's a physical energy and so the more physical you can be here in December the better you're going to feel so thank you for listening thank you for watching thank you for liking favoring and sharing my videos Leo you're so awesome and thank you for subscribing. You totally rock. And thank you to my new subscribers. I so appreciate you. You're rocking awesome. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It helps to support the channel and it lets you know when I upload. And I'm offering my YouTube Insiders course here in January. It was a huge success when I offered it in August. And it helps so many people with their businesses and their channels. And I would love to see you part of it. It might be what you're looking to do that's new for you and exciting and interesting and that door open to that liberation uh, in this area of your life. So check it out. It's at my website. You sign up for the free webinar. You get a gift. And the link is below in the show more section. And until next time, Leo, stay focused on you and stay active. It will really help you feel awesome. And Happy New Year! <laughs>